Hi friends, it's me, Miss Delaney, again. Um, and today we're going to be talking about, we're gonna watch this video on brain pop about, we just talked about pictographs. That's one type of way that we can show something called data, which is, we talked about it last time, which means like numbers and different votes for different things and who likes what. So we did that with our pictographs with fruit. Um, and today, you're going to watch a video about bar graphs and tally marks. So make sure you're paying attention and we will watch this together. Where should we go on our next class trip? The zoo, the firehouse, or the apple orchard? I'm taking a survey and making a tally chart. What are surveys and tally charts? A survey is a list of questions used to collect information or opinions. Let's see. There are three dinosaurs here. Let's take a survey to find out which one our classmates like best. We can use a tally chart to record data or information. Let's see, Moby likes the Stegosaurus the best. You can draw one tally mark to stand for one vote. Five kids like the Triceratops. So I'll draw five tally marks in that row. One, two, three, four. The fifth mark is drawn across the other four. Well, when you group the tally marks by fives, you can count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. Sets of fives are easier to count. Hmm, seven kids like the T-Rex. So after I draw five tally marks, I can add two more to make seven. Oh, right. I forgot to vote. My favorite dinosaur is the Triceratops. I'll add a tally mark to that row. It's really easy to add to tally charts. Now I can count the votes and use the tally chart to make a bar graph. What is a bar graph? A bar graph is a way to organize and show data. You can write the categories on the bottom. The three dinosaurs are the categories. Then you can write the numbers on the side. The numbers in our bar graph show how many people voted for each dinosaur. Let's see. One student liked the Stegosaurus the best. So I fill in one square. Six people voted for the Triceratops, so I color in six squares. Seven people said the T-Rex was their favorite dinosaur. You can also put the categories on the left and the numbers on the bottom. You can display the same information in a different way so you can understand it better. How can you use bar graphs to understand information? Bar graphs help you answer questions. Which dinosaur did people in our class like the best? Right, the T-Rex is the most popular. Which dinosaur did people like the least? Hmm, the Stegosaurus got five fewer votes than the Triceratops. You can even use the bar graph to figure out the total number of students who voted. Just add the votes from each category. 14 kids voted in all. I'm almost done with the survey on where to go for our next class trip. So far, the zoo is the most popular. It has 16 votes. But... I don't have your vote yet, Moby. Where do you want to go? The moon? I don't think the bus will get us there. 
All right, guys. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to have a little, we're going to make ourselves another, um, another graph, but this time we're going to make a bar graph. So what I'm going to have you do is you're going to come up with three different things that you're going to vote on. Um, but it's going to be like the favorite dessert. That's what we're going to call it, our favorite dessert. So you have to have three different options for people to choose from. You can have ice cream, cookies, pie, cake, cupcakes, different kinds of desserts, some di desserts that you, you know, but you have to have three different options. And then you're going to ask everybody in your family um, what their favorite dessert is. So... Um, I can figure this out. Oops. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. So here's what we're gonna do. Whoops, I don't think this is what I meant to click on. Okay, yes, here. All right. So here I've got my, my pen. So on a piece of paper, you're gonna say something like, well, let me use my mouse quicker. Do this one. Okay, and you're gonna say favorite dessert. Okay, that'll be your first thing. And then you're going to, whoops. do with this one and then you're going to create your bar graph so your bar graph is going to have three different options so you have to have three different three different oops that was very that was not a, a good line <laughs> okay let's try that again we'll do that and you're gonna create this on your own piece of paper. All right. So we have here, we have, we're going to have our three different options. So my options that I'm gonna choose is ice cream for the first one, the second one's gonna be cookies, and then the last one's gonna be cake. So I have ice cream. This is gonna have to be very small. I'm gonna try to put it up. I should just delete that. Okay. Ice cream. And it's going to be very small. And it will be the one that's over here. Okay. There's our first one. And then our second one. It's going to be cookies. Let me make my thing a little smaller. Okay. I don't know how I can move it. 
Oops. There we go. So that one is cookies. And then our last one is going to be cake. Like this is one of them. There we go. Okay. Cake is our last one. Let's make it smaller. There we go. So now we have our favorite desserts, ice cream, cookies, and cake. So now what I have to do is I'm going to ask all of the people in my family what their favorite was. So I'm going to come up with my, with my tally marks. So first, so here's going to be my tallies. Oops. Tally. All right. So I have me, let's erase that one. Let's actually start with our, with our desserts. So I'm gonna do I, C for ice cream. And for that one, that's not my favorite, but it's my fiance's favorite. So I'm gonna do one tally mark for him. And then I'm gonna do, C O for cookies. And that one is my favorite. So I'm going to do one of those. And then I have C A for cake. And there's nobody else that lives in our house except for me and my fiance. So there's no more. So now I need to make sure on my bar graph I have enough space to fill for everybody. So depending on how many people you have, if you have 10 people in your family, you have to make sure that your the top one can be up to 10 people. I'm just going to make mine up to five. So I will do, let me change my color. So I'll do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then one, two, three, four, and five. So according to my tally marks, I have one vote for ice cream and one vote for cookies. So I'm gonna try to use a different color for that. So I'm gonna color in one for ice cream and one for cookies. Oh yes, and one thing I forgot to mention, make sure you put your numbers so you can tell. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. And your numbers might be a little bit different depending on how many people you have in your house. So now I can see how many votes I have for the favorite desserts. I've got one vote for ice cream, one vote for cookies, and no votes for cake. So I can make up questions based on the data that I have here. So the one that has the least amount of votes is cake because it doesn't have any. The one that has the most really is tied between two and it's ice cream and cookies and they both have the same amount of votes and it's only one. So you can come up with different kinds of questions that you can with your data that you have come up with. Um, so what I want you to do is create one of your own bar graphs on a piece of paper um, and then you're going to take a picture of it at the end and submit it on Class Dojo. All right, if you have any other questions, just let me know. Bye guys, see you later. <laughs>